you know, speaking of uh, the American culture, you said that it's such a huge melting pot, you know, mm-hmm. people from different immigrant groups, they come and settle over there and they introduce their own cultural aspects into the US. And obviously mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a two way streak, right? So I was reading your bio and you've spent time in East Asia as well. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, the good example of that is Singapore. You know, if you go to Singapore, you'll see there's, uh, when I went to Singapore, you know, uh, it was such a perfect melting pot. Uh, there were uh, Malay people there, Chinese people there, people from Thailand, India, mm-hmm. you know, such different diversities over there. And I tried all of their foods, you know, and I loved every single one of them. I had a few friends over there, everybody from a different country, and we all tried each other's foods one at a time. Everybody has this unique flavor that's uniquely theirs and it's so good. Um, mm-hmm. And that's what I always enjoy when I go to these spaces I think a very good way to bond with people is over food and you know this is another aspect of I guess cultural or food diplomacy as you call it Mm -hmm. that it's such a good way to you know connect with people when you sit with them when you eat with them you know connect with them over their food and maybe draw comparisons and similarities between them it's such a good way to you know uh, find similarities and become friends with them as well I I found that my all of most of my friends over there we became friends after we started eating together and eating each other's dishes so what do you have to say about that I mean you've been to all these different places what is your perspective on you know food diplomacy or culture diplomacy yeah i mean i I don't necessarily i don't know if i even call it food diplomacy although that we we use that term all the time Uh, but to me when sharing a food can be one of two things if it's something that you like and something that you enjoy maybe something that isn't particularly close to close to my heart like i don't know lasagna lasagna is good i enjoy it and i know lots of lots of good italian restaurants in the dc area and I might take someone because it's an enjoyable lasagna. That's sharing something that you like versus sharing something that kind of helped form you, which is yeah. which is more how I think of of the food that I really get excited about. And so, you know, I mentioned the uh, tortillas and queso fresco. Those those are really simple dishes, but they're foundational dishes. And yeah. at that and at that point, I think you're sharing something that's more basic, but also maybe a little bit deeper in a way. You're talking it's about a part of you, basically. It, it is. You're you're talking about two of the of the most important resources um in all of Latin America corn and beef and, and cattle and that's that's where those two products came from and yeah. so those two products make up these foundational parts of your diet and so you're not just sharing these dishes that on their on the face would seem really simple you're sharing a story about how these dishes came to be part yeah. of your life or how they came to be part of your development and for me bringing those to the United States and sharing those with friends in the US when I was in college and um, I had a interesting childhood because I was born in the U.S. and then moved back to Mexico and then came back when I was about nine or 10. And so I had a lot of uh, introduction to food and, and, and to traditions in Mexico that maybe yeah. I wouldn't have had if I had just grown up in the U.S. So for me, it was, I did feel like I was bringing back some of these things um, and sharing those, sharing those things with friends really did feel like I was sharing something very special. Even if the food itself was not terribly remarkable, it wasn't yeah. like, it wasn't like I was doing this, you know, magic you know, cheese yeah. souffle or something yeah. like, uh, cause I don't know how to do that. But you, I was sharing something about what shaped my family's history uh, and even what shaped our struggles because ultimately my family moved to the U.S. because the land could no longer support all of the people that were there. There was, a, you could no longer produce enough corn or enough beef yeah. to keep everyone there. So you, people had to go and find other opportunities. And so to me, it's, it's food can, sharing food can be, can be shaped into an opportunity to really share something fundamental about a person. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's how I see it, especially when we're talking about some of these less glamorous dishes uh, in, in Mexican food. I understand. You know, that I always find that food is the best way to bring people together and to get them to open up as well. You know, once you have a good hearty meal, you can have a good conversation with anybody. 